and hence the Orion, the giant Orion is born of Taurus. And in many ways, in an Gnostic connection, he's also, um, if you notice, Orion is facing against the bull in the, um, in the, in the stars, astrologically, he's facing, he, he's, he's actually turning on his mother, the bull. And the bull is also, or the, the cow, the sacred cow, Athar. You have a, you almost have a pure symbolism. Am, am I speculating the book? It is speculation, but you have the symbolism of the, um, the Sophia rejecting the child, Orion. Mm -hmm. Hathor, the cow, the goddess, rejecting the child, just as in the Gnostic texts, the Demiurge was rejected by Sophia in the story. And I can't help but feel that when I look at the Orion symbolism, it's almost as though the child was rejected, grew up to be this kind of um, figure that was, was seen religiously, of course, and worshipped eventually as this kind of Adam figure, this creator figure, just like the Demiurge is seen as a, a, a creator, but eventually grew old and became um, bitter and twisted and became Kronos. So the child that was once a young man grew up and fell, so uh, symbolically falling through the energetic um, vibrations from the heavens, from the crown, through and down and became this kind of twisted figure that, that eats its um, own children, which is the Kronos-Saturn connection on one level.